I'm going to show you how you can add a user's GPS location to your table forms. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add you all to this in the description. So there are two versions of this extension. One of them does not require a ProiCare table account. So the one that does not require a ProiCare table account, it's this one right here. It asks for the location, you hit allow and then you get redirected to the Airtable form. Um, this doesn't require a ProiCare table account, so that's nice, but at the same time, people can change this location um, manually. So it does not guarantee that what you get in the record will actually be the user's location. And the second iteration of this, uh, the second version of this extension, you get directed to the form immediately. You fill up the form. And then after the form, we ask for the location. And th this is the part that requires the pro our table account because we use that redirect functionality in our table forms. So now they just, you know, the, the record got created from the form. It's taking the location right now and it's gonna add it to that record. So we get it submitted successfully. So if you buy the tool, this is what you would see. There are two versions. If you just write GPS in the search, there are two versions. The pre-fill version, the one that does not require a prairie table account, you'll wanna use your form URL. It's pretty straightforward. You just add your form URL then the field that will have the longitude and then the field that will have the latitude and make sure to read this comments here, use the highest precision. If you're using a number, uh, if you're using text, then you don't have to worry about this. And then um, what you would give to your users is this share URL. This would throw them into this page and then they would get redirected to that Airtable form. In the second version, you would wanna start by adding your user API key, base ID and table ID, follow the blue URLs to find those. And then you wanna give us the Airtable field for longitude, Airtable field for latitude. And if you would like, if at the end of everything is done, if instead of getting redirected to that green message that you saw, you want them to get redirected to a custom URL, add that here. And we give you the option to, to replace the record ID in the URL if you would like. After you're done doing all of this, for this version, there's one last step here. You would click on the settings icon, grab the Airtable form redirect URL, and then you would go to your Airtable form and then you would use that as your redirect URL. So for the second version, your starting point for your users would be the actual form URL. So you drop this redirect URL here, hit save, and then what you would give to your users is the actual form URL from here.